Hello, today I'll be making crisp pork belly in the air fryer. These are the ingredients you'll need. Thyme, basil, ground cumin, white vinegar, black pepper, salt, oil, onion powder, Chinese five spice powder, garlic powder, paprika, and brown sugar. And of course you'll also need the pork belly. Uh, I just got some pork bellies at the store. I don't know how many pounds this is, but I want to get one that has a nice uh, thick layer of skin on the back. You see that cross section there? Lots of fat there. That's the good part of it. I'm going to do some prep work on this to uh, help the uh, seasonings kind of penetrate the meat. You'll want to cut not all the way through, but just cut through the layer of meat almost down to the skin. Maybe half inch, quarter inch. Let's do that one way and do that another way. Let's see, once you put the seasonings in there, they'll get into those little crevices and flavor it a lot. Okay, in this bowl, I put all the ingredients in there. I should say um, the recipe doesn't call for garlic powder, it calls for garlic salt, but I don't have garlic salt, so I just use the garlic powder and a little bit extra salt. Um, it also calls for Italian seasoning, which I don't have, so that's where the basil and the thyme came from. Um, and just basically mix it all up together. Try to get that brown sugar, the clumps out of there. Okay, now here, um, you just put, now pour the seasoning on top of the pork belly, the meat side, not the skin side. Make sure you open up the little crevices there. And just kind of start rubbing your seasonings all up and down. Get into the crevices. This is how it should look when you're done uh, seasoning. You got it all over in the crevices too, do you see? Okay, now with this sheet of tin foil, I kind of made a little uh, container of sorts for the pork belly to go into. I think it's about the same size of that. And then what you want to do is put the pork belly in here, skin side down, or meat side down, skin side up, I mean. And then we'll do a little bit of cleaning up of the skin, and then we'll brush some vinegar and salt on. Okay, now we're going to splash a little bit of vinegar on top of the pork belly, the skin side. This will help dry the skin a little bit. Uh, we did clean it up a little bit to get some of the seasoning off. So just a little splash, about a teaspoon. And then I recommend using a brush to brush it around, because if you're like me, I have really dry skin. And vinegar tends to find all the little pieces of dry skin in your cuts so uh, you free feel free to use your hand if you want to your fingers but uh, I'm going to keep mine nice and safe and use a brush after I'm brushing the vinegar on there all I have to do is sprinkle a little bit of salt so the salt there's some in the seasoning that we used on the other side of the pork belly and we're also applying it to this side the skin side and we're just going to take it carefully out of the air fryer. We can still hear all that sizzling going on. So there's the bottom of the pork belly. Stick it on the cutting board. And then we'll cut into it in just a moment when it cools down. I'll leave it a little bit. Look at the pork belly. They have that skin and just really popped up. And it's nice and crispy. It's very crispy. It smells very delicious. Now it's time to cut the pork belly. It's been sitting for a little bit. Maybe I should use a serrated knife for this, but this will do. Let's see. Look at it. Nice 
nice and steamy in the cold layer of crispy skin right down there. All the seasoning here. It's gonna taste so good. Uh, so this is Chinese pork belly, uh, crisp pork belly. Thank you.